Good morning. <sighs> Hello. So we decided to come out to the woods. Today is Thursday the 10th of October. So it's World Mental Health Day today. Which is important. It's World World Mental Health Day. And here we are, look. Yeah, talking and thinking about mental health is always important. And it does deserve its own day. It's a shame in a way, because some things, some um, whatever, in, in life have weeks or months but World Health Day is a day it is the 10th of every every October the 10th is, is the one and only day but whatever we've got that day so it's important to talk about it so um, I got up this morning I put on my Facebook a list of helplines you can text like you know for help now and stuff like that as well so you know if anybody was um, I don't know feeling down or concerned or whatever either about themselves or a friend, Bodhi, um, or anybody else, then at least those numbers are there. Sometimes it's difficult to find the numbers, but I like to put all the numbers together, whether it be Samaritans or Mind or Calm or whoever, you know, put it all together. And then people have got the list, they can look through it and think, okay, this is who I'm ringing today, hopefully. But if not, they can say, do you know bro's put a thing up and it's World Mental Health Day and uh, it sparks a conversation and also put on there that today is the day you need to reach out if you've got a friend who's gone quiet if you haven't seen somebody for a while if you're just a little bit concerned about somebody or if you're concerned about yourself if you're feeling weird or odd or whatever just lately get some help So we're into autumn, look. So yeah, World Mental Health Day. Um, it's strange that it is in a way, because um, I don't talk to him very often, but I spoke to my friend FF. Uh, for those of you who will remember, in 21, 2021, he, um, blessed him, came and stayed at my place uh, because I had cancer and uh, had to have surgery and things. So... Um, yeah, FF. So I spoke to him just recently. And he was talking about my place. And he said, one thing I'll always remember. He said, on your bathroom mirror. And he's never said this before. You didn't say it when he stayed there. He said, on your bathroom mirror, you have, I am enough. And I said, yeah, I do. And he said, I love that. And I said, well, so do I. That's why I got it done. I am enough. And it's just a reminder when you have a wash in the mornings or whatever that you are enough you know mental health is a funny thing really it's um sometimes there's no rhyme or reason sometimes it's because of um perhaps a slightly depleted thing within your mind serotonin or whatever uh sometimes it's an imbalance of chemicals your dopamine levels are very low for whatever reason. Sometimes it's um, your makeup, uh, the person that you are. So you could have, like me, I've got dysthymia, so you could have dysthymia, or you could have some uh, low level depression, or you could have anxiety for whatever reason. There, there could be lots of reasons, but often there is no, no one reason, not really. So I have, I am enough on my mirror to remind me that I am enough because you can access, exacerbate, is it? Exacerbate, whatever it is. You can add on, make bigger, expand these negative feelings, these concerns of worry and anxiety and depression. By feeling that maybe you need to be more than what you are 
You don't feel good enough. You don't feel enough. Booty, please, come on now, man. Oh, God. Um, and we all go through it sometimes. We do. We can look at other people and we can think, oh, they've got it sorted. They're a better person than I am. They've got their life pretty much on track. I bet they are not bothered and worried and concerned in the way that I am. And we look at these people and we think, oh, but they've never had any sort of depression or any sort of mind troubles, any anxiety or anything even more severe. And we can think that we are not enough. They are. When we look around us, they are. They've got it all together. We haven't. So I have on my mirror, I am enough. And when we tell ourselves that, that we are enough, we don't need to be any more than what we are. If we keep trying to be something that we're not, then we, we feel very unsettled in our minds and we're not pacified on a level of contentment, you know? If we don't feel that we're enough, we're always, I don't know, searching, looking, trying to be something that we're not. And it's very difficult. We're not feeling good enough. And by not feeling good enough, you can feel that you are not worthy. So you're undeserving of whatever. Undeserving. How awful. But we do, at times, we do feel that. I am enough. Tell yourself you are enough, because you are enough. You don't need to be any more than what you currently are. It doesn't mean that you should stop searching to better yourself, to become a better person, to learn more, whatever, you know. Yeah, of course you should. You should do whatever it takes. But you are enough. You are enough now. And whatever you learn and do today, you will be enough tomorrow, next year, ten years' time. You are enough. I am enough. So I have that on my mirror. I am enough. And I like... You must know by now. I like these little affirmations. This too shall pass. And things like that. They kind of carry me through life sometimes. But I am enough is... Because uh, we're dealing with today, which is Mental Health Day... I think I am enough is a good and an important little thing to tell yourself and to remind yourself. And the reason why I have it on my mirror is every day. Every day I can remind myself, can't I? Every single day. So I'm going to show you some mushrooms in a second. Okay, so look at these. Well, that mushroom is enough, isn't it, eh? It doesn't need to be any more than what it is. And most things in life do feel enough. These trees, they are enough. They're not trying to be anything they're not. They're not trying to compete with anybody or anything. They're just here. They're just there. They're just doing and being themselves. They are enough. By not feeling good enough, as I said, you can, whatever the word is, 
exacerbate or uh, add on to whatever feelings that you're going through, down feelings, negative feelings, awkward feelings. If you don't feel worthy, I am enough. Now, it led me on really, I was thinking about this last night, because somebody uh, said, oh I love your video, uh, release the chains. So again, that's all about feeling worthy, being enough. Release your chains, what's holding you back? What is holding you back and why? I will put a link, I think, to that video. Because they kind of talk to themselves the video uh, about the chains but also this video I am worthy I am enough and we can break that down further to I am and that's all we need to be I am we don't even need to add on anymore just I am and what that means to me is accept me or reject me I don't care I am So I am here, I am now, I am Bri. Accept me or not. For my quirky little ways. I am. Which is another good little affirmation. Good for the mental health. Oh, I nearly always say in these videos. You can get outside, get outside, because it's very good for your mental health. And I've said before, even if you just sit in the garden or sit in your car somewhere or go and sit on a bench, you know, if you can't walk or you struggle being outside for whatever reason, try to minimise the impact of being outside. You don't have to go and sit with a group of people. Sit on your own, sit and chill, close your eyes, breathe, be, just be. Okay, so we're going to enjoy our bimble. But just know that you are, you are enough, you really are enough. And you honestly don't need to be any more. You are good enough. You are everything you need to be. So don't try and be anything more for other people. Be more for yourself by all means. But don't ever try to be something for other people. You are enough. Okay. Yeah, watch the other video if you like about releasing the chains. I think that'll make a lot of sense to a lot of people. It's an old video, it's four years ago that I did it, but I was skinny, I was smoking. It was four years ago, but it's perfectly valid today and forevermore. I think it's called Let Go of the Chains or something, but I'll put a little link on. So watch that. Have a good day. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll put the photo on of uh, the numbers that I mentioned earlier. And you can pause that if you need to. 
And then you've got those numbers, haven't you? You can write them down or whatever, pass them on perhaps, who knows. So I'll do that now. Here's a photo. Okay, so you can pause the video if you wanted to. Oh, this is lovely, it's glorious, just beautiful. Got a jacket on, it's a bit chilly, but we're all right. So know that you are enough, okay? You really are. You are enough. And now we'll have a look at the other video. Uh, let go of the chains. Take care then and be well.